everyone. This is Maya from Student Solutions. I hope uh, you all are doing well. And uh, today I am here with another uh, great presentation. And um, thank you for all the reviews and thank you for enjoying the videos and giving such great uh, feedback to us. I'm just going to share my screen and we are going to get started on our presentation today. So there you go. Okay, so. Perfect. So the topic for today is Canadian dishes. Okay, so as we've been mentioning or I've mentioned in another video that uh, Canada is a uh, multicultural country. So we have a lot of dishes and a lot of uh, food and uh, different cultures, but we also have some Canadian dishes or some dishes that we call Canadian. So we're just going to touch upon what those are. The first one that we have over here is beaver tails. Okay, so beaver tail is not really a dish. It's more like, um, you can say a dessert or a sweet dish. And uh, that's basically um, made, it is made of a dough and it's um, really not the tail of a beaver. It's just the, um, the shape looks like a beaver tail. And uh, you, uh, as you can see in the, in the image, the photo here, that it uh, has some uh, flavors on it, some savory, it could be like, you know, sweet or chocolate or vanilla or something. It's always sweet, but it's, you know, it could be like chocolate, vanilla, or they will sometimes, I believe they top it up with banana or something like that, like some fruits. So yeah, this is a very uh, lovely, um, uh, sweet to enjoy and you will see like uh, so beaver tails is actually a pastry like it's a store uh, you can go grab it from there so usually um, I, I saw like um, a mobile like a, like a moving truck uh, in uh, near harbor front uh, downtown so um, yeah, and you can find other stores as well and enjoy like you know just to go and try and see how it tastes and do you like it or not so, okay, so the second one that we have over here is Montreal smoked meat. Yeah, so Montreal, Montreal smoked meat is, meat is not only that like, you can find it in Montreal, though, okay, let's just put it this way that you will be able to find that like a more authentic one because it's a Montreal speciality. So yes, and it's just a uh, beef and then uh, with some seasoning and the, um, uh, what, what do you call it? That, yeah, you can just uh, make a sandwich out of it or like a burger, some uh, mustard and pickle. And um, you can just uh, find this at any deli, like, um, and, uh, you know, uh, even in Toronto or Calgary or um, other, like other provinces as well. So yeah, that's one of the things, um, Montreal smoked meat, and it's uh, very uh, tasty as well. So moving to the third one, and that is butter tarts yes butter tarts you will find them usually in stores and uh, and uh, yeah so one more thing um in stores and also that you know they're they're not real they're seasoning uh, like a seasoned um dessert uh, you might find them during Christmas or um, other like times, Thanksgiving, um, I believe you can find them during Thanksgiving as well. I think you just can find them all year, uh, all year round, like yeah, at different stores. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that's one of the things. And you can also like, there's a lot of recipes uh, online and you can just make your own if you would like to make your own. And they're like really small tarts with the uh, sugar, honey, and uh, like a couple of more ingredients. And they look like this and uh, you'll see them at office parties and also at birthday parties and just at home sometimes so yeah then we have and I'm completely going to butcher the name which is it's a French um, dish and it's called tourte and uh, it's uh, basically um, I don't know if you uh, have ever um, tasted uh, or have ever had a shepherd's pie. It's more like uh, more or less like that. It's uh, made of mince uh, meat, and uh, they have like you know the seasoning in there and vegetables and different like whatever um, call it uh, carrots and celery and things like that. And they season it. It's in more. In a, it's in a pie, and it's a main dish, and um, it's uh, very delicious. And it's um, you can find them. It's like you know at French restaurants um you can find it at quebec because quebec is um, uh, more 
you know, you'll find a lot of uh, French restaurants there and even in like other provinces as well. And you can try making your own as well. So yeah, so that's one of the dishes, dishes that we have. Last but not the least, and we have over here yellow split pea soup. Yes, that's a very, very French um, um, appetizer, or you can say not even appetizer, it's more like a before, before your meals. Uh, so when I went to Quebec City, uh, where you go to any restaurant, they serve you bread and they serve you uh, soup. So it's a part of their, like, they always like, not always like, but the uh, French like to have, spend time on their meals. So they're gonna, going to give you bread and then soup, and then you're going to have a meal, and then you're just going to have like, you know, um, dessert. So they spend their time. So that's why when you're going to have it, I had the soup in um, in Quebec City, uh, the old Quebec City, and there was a restaurant over there. And uh, it's a very delicious. It's uh, made of uh, split peas, yellow split uh, peas, and uh, and there's um, carrot, celery, and another uh, like other seasonings in it. And um, yeah, so you can just uh, enjoy a warm uh, bowl of soup, and that's one of the things um, that we have on our list. Okay, uh, last but not the least. I already said that, but this is more for the images, and this is for ba basically the photo credits because we, we these are not our images, so we wanted to give credits to the um, platforms that we grab grab the photos from. So, okay, so that's all we have for today for our Canadian dishes. Uh, we hope you are enjoying our videos and looking forward to our next one. And do we have so many different topic, topics? And if you feel that there's a topic that we haven't covered and you would like to hear more about it or something, feel free to send us an email or even like, you know, text us on WhatsApp. We have our address, uh, all our addresses and contact information on our website. So yeah, we love to hear from you. Even comment on the videos and how do you like it and everything. So, okay. So I'm going to stop right here and uh, we will see you next time. I will just get connected with you next time and stay tuned. Thank you very much. And... Bye-bye.